third world countries um if you are to advise us health wise what would that be well i'm, I'm not in the health care field mm. but i i know that washing your hands and uh, making sure that when you cough you cough into your sleep and not into your hand i know those are the two things that uh, they're talking about right now what would you say to the people that say that this is a lab disease virtually to try and cut down africa's population yeah conspiracy theories no 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 that's not zero that that disease is not centered on african american people a lot of people from diverse ethnic backgrounds are, are dying because of this disease so the disease don't know an ethnic group and it, and it started i think in china Okay, and that's not an African. That's not an African American country, or nor is it it's not an African country. I look at your state, and I see that not much really natural resources. With a country well endowed like Ghana, with a lot of natural resources, virtually everything, we still struggle here and there. But with you, with that limited resource, you've done so much. What is the secret? Would you want to share with us? Well, when it comes to Illinois, we are rich in terms of uh, pigs as pork. Uh, soybeans, corn, we export a lot of those products to other states. And uh, your, your father may have been a farmer, you, you teach your son how to become a farmer, and your daughter, and so when you pass away, it, it continues to function. So it's a, like a family, a family situation. In your years of public service, what has been your worst moment? Bush moment. Boy, I've had nothing but excitement and joy in this office. I think that when some people told me that I cannot achieve, that I cannot become the next Secretary of State because of my pay job here, it fired me up. And I don't like anyone to tell me that I cannot achieve. When you say that, you start a fire in me. I want to prove you wrong. And so far, everything that I've embarked upon has been successful. And I want to thank the people for having confidence in me and having the kind of attitude toward me that has inspired me to continue to run the largest Secretary of State office in the United States. You, you had the largest numbers, especially in the election, I, probably unprecedented. Yes, I, I received more votes than anyone in the history of the state of Illinois. And I run the largest Secretary of State office in the United States, and I'm the first African American to hold that position. If a politician is, say, in Ghana, probably wants to emulate you, what would you say was the trick that, that made you command so much uh, masses like that? I think early on you should build up uh, some revenue in terms of financial revenue, do a good job in terms of helping your community become educated. And have love in your heart for your home and uh, then if you say you want to do something for them you do it mm. they want you to be at a particular function you be there and I'm, i believe in being on time and sometimes people will be an hour late or two hours late i'll be there ahead of time you say two o'clock i'm there at 1 45. to you what is your definition classical definition of that american dream that we so much hear of the American dream, if you dream and uh, you realize your dream, and of course, you pass it on to someone else, especially as children, so that they too will be able to dream and help them to become a positive force in society. You're about to leave office. Um, After three more years. Yes, yes. That's that probably, two, that that's your last step. Yeah, that'll give me 24 years. You see, I was a a state lawmaker for 16 years, the Cook County Recorder of Deeds, that's the second largest recorder of deeds office in the United States, uh, that's, that's real estate. I did that for six years. Secretary of State so far, 21 years. Professional baseball, uh, eight years. School teacher, 36 years. Coach of the Jesse White Tubman team, uh, 60 years served in the military for 10 years and two of those years jumping out of airplanes so i did 
35 jumps, jumping out of a perfect airplane. There will be a lot of Ghanaian businessmen that will want me to ask this question. Um, for those people that want to do expansion, probably reach certain territories like the Americas, probably your state, what, what would what you now? say to them? What, what do do? People, businessmen that actually want to expand their territories, probably okay. come to your state and equal also investing. What would you say to them? Are I'd they say, welcome? I'd say we welcome them with open arms, be glad to teach them and maybe invest in their product. How difficult is it coming to the American market? Because Many a times, that's the notion out there in Africa. It's not easy to get into the American market. Well, just, just tell them to call me. I'll point them in the right direction. Finally, finally, what would be your final words to every youth, everybody out there watching in Ghana? What would be your final words? Well, first of all, I want them to become educated. Put some between your ears and the other scalp for talking about knowledge, and that will carry you far. The only time I want them to look down in life is the tattered shoes, which means that they feel as though they've done all they can do and there's nothing left for them to do that's going to help them be where they want to be. You make sure you teach them to look up and never look down. And when someone says you cannot become successful, as I said before, mm. watch me. It, just cannot be, it cannot be an idle boast. you got to back it up. If someone says, because of the skin that you have, that uh, white people are not going to rally around you. Well, the bulk of the people who support me are white because we have more white people in Illinois than we have African Americans. And so if I say I received more votes than anyone in the history of the state of Illinois, all those were not black votes. Interesting. And finally, 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 finally. Um, what legacy would you want people to remember you of? I want them to remember me as being the kind of a person who gave of his self, his money, his efforts, and his energy to help society to become a better place for everyone. When you get it, you give it back. And as I said before, you must do something good for someone every day and not be concerned about how much money I'm going to get. I'm not motivated by money. I'm motivated by success. I want everyone within the sound of my voice, no matter what their color scheme is, to rise up and be a positive force in society. You do those things and more, society will benefit from you. People are going to miss your experience and... Uh... No, I, I'm, I'm going to be around. <laughs> I'm going to continue to work and not be concerned about money. I believe in volunteerism. And that's what I'm going to continue to do, volunteer. With my Jesse White Tumbling team, I'm a volunteer. Every July, we give out to 600 kids who are going off to college a trunk, a trunk loaded with school supplies for college. And then we give 51 of my young people between 3,000 to 8,000 toward education. So we uh, we get them clothing, nice new suits, girls, nice new dresses, computers, televisions, uh, all the things that they need for college, we give to them. And we wish them well. And we want them to become better educated and better informed. You do that, you've made a tremendous investment in our youth. And that's, going, that's our success. Thank you very much. Thank you. Third world countries. Um, if you are to advise us, health wise, what would that be? Well, I'm, I'm not in the health care field, mm. but I, I know that washing your hands and uh, making sure that when you cough, you cough into your sleep and not into your hand. I know those are the two things that uh, they're talking about right now. What would you say to? The people that say that this is a lab disease virtually to try and cut now Africa's population. Yeah. Conspiracy theories. No, 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 no. That's not zero. That, that disease is not centered on African American people. A lot of people from diverse ethnic backgrounds are, are dying because of this disease. So the disease don't know an ethnic group. And it, and it started, I think, in China.
Okay. And that started African, that started African American country, or no, it started African country. I look at your state and I see that not much really natural resources. With a country well endowed like Ghana, with a lot of natural resources, virtually everything, we still struggle here and there. But with you, with that limited resource, you've done so much. What is the secret? What do you want to share with us? Well, when it comes to Illinois, we are rich in terms of uh, pigs as pork, uh, soybeans, corn. We export a lot of those products to other states. And uh, your, your father may have been a farmer, you, you teach your son how to become a farmer, your daughter. And so when you pass away, it, it continues to function. So it's a, like a family, a family situation. In your years of public service, what has been your worst moment? My worst moment? Boy, I've had nothing but excitement and joy in this office. I think that when some people told me that I cannot achieve, that I cannot become the next Secretary of State because of my pay job here, it fired me up. And I don't like waiting when they tell me that I cannot achieve. When you say that, you start a fire in me because I want to prove you wrong. And so far, everything that I've embarked upon, I've been successful. And I want to thank the people for having confidence in me and having the kind of attitude toward me that has inspired me to continue to run the largest Secretary of State office in the United States. You, you had the largest numbers especially in the election, I, probably unprecedented. Yes, I, I received more votes than anyone in the history of the state of Illinois. And I run the largest Secretary of State office in the United States, and I'm the first African American to hold that position. If a politician is, say, in Ghana, probably wants to emulate you, what would you say was the trick that, that made you command so much uh, masses like that? I think early on you should build up some revenue in terms of lots of revenue. Do a good job in terms of helping your community. Become educated and have love in your heart for 